Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about how to set up a QHORA for WireGuard VPN connection. Why we need VPN connection? Actually, open your NAS to the internet let you very easy to access to your resource. However, in the meantime, all others on the internet could reach your NAS as well. It creates a lot of potential risk for your NAS. If we use VPN connecting to the NAS, then the NAS don't need to open to the internet anymore. And all others on the internet will not able to reach the NAS directly. It increases the security level for your valuable data. WireGuard is a VPN service supported by QHORA. You can enable it easily for remote connection and it also has high performance on the data transmission. Also, the communication will be encrypted to protecting your information. To configure WireGuard on QHORA, we can go to QVPN User Management. First, we can click Add button and then fill in the profile name and then click Generate button. Next, click Add button. Then we will see the user profile for WireGuard has been created. We can click Download button to download the WireGuard configuration file. Before we configuration WireGuard on PC, we should also check QHORA has enabled WireGuard VPN service. We can go to VPN settings and check the WireGuard configuration. Then we should enable the WireGuard on QHORA. In the PC, we should install WireGuard application. We can find it from the WireGuard official website. When WireGuard application has been installed on the PC, we can launch it and import the file that we download from the QHORA. Let's click the file and click Open. When the WireGuard user profile has been imported successfully, we can find it on the panel and we can click the Edit button to check the detail of the user profile. In Edit panel, there are some information you might need. It. First is address of interface. It means the IP address that your PC will use for WireGuard VPN connection. And the DNS part, you can specify it as QHORA WireGuard interface IP address. And the allowed IPS of peer, it means the destination will be routed by the WireGuard VPN tunnel. You can specify a subnet or just fill in 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 which means any traffic will routed by the WireGuard VPN connection. And in the endpoint, you should specify the WAN IP address of QHORA in order to establish the VPN tunnel. After we review the profile, we can just click Active button to establish the WireGuard VPN connection and you can see the status will become active. When WireGuard VPN tunnel is established, your PC will be create a new network interface. And you can try to pin to the QHORA LAN IP address. Also, you can trace out to make sure the traffic has into VPN tunnel. On QHORA, all the connected WireGuard VPN user will be displayed, so you can make sure all the user you are recognized. Now, let's see how WireGuard works on the QHORA. Before I connecting to the WireGuard VPN tunnel, I am not able to access the NAS led behind QHORA, and I cannot pin to the QHORA LAN IP address as well. Now, let's connect in WireGuard VPN tunnel. You can see the status become active, and the transfer shows there is the data transmit. Let's pin to QHORA LAN IP address again. This time, we can pin to the IP address of QHORA, 
and let's access the NAS again. As you see, NAS become accessible as well. We can use it just we are connecting in the same network. Like we can download the file and upload the file by the local IP address of NAS. Please be aware, the download upload speed will depend on your internet connection. If you have any question with this video, please feel free to leave your question below. Cunic Prada is your best choice.